Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. Did you know that there are only five pentatonic boxes and that each of them can be used for both major and minor soloing? Well that's what I want to talk to you about today. We're going to go through each of our five pentatonic boxes then I'm going to show you how just changing their fret position can change them from being either major or minor. Okay, a closer look at the fretboard. We're going to be using our caged system to find these various pentatonic positions across the fretboard. Now the basic concept is that a given major or minor chord can be played in five positions on the fretboard. So if you're not familiar with the cage system, basically we can play a chord like A major in five different positions. It can be played in C position. It can be played obviously in A position. Okay, here it is in two octaves. It can be played in G position. Okay, here's a G shape on the fifth fret, A major. It can be played in E position. And it can also be played in D position. Okay, you can play it like this too. Okay, now surrounding each of these chord positions is both a major and a minor pentatonic box. Now each of these boxes can be played in two locations on the fretboard, one major and the other minor. So let's get started learning each of these different positions. Okay, getting started with your first box, it's going to be the minor C position, key of A. So we're gonna be doing everything in the key of A for ease of learning. Okay, it's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, and the root note is going to be right here on the A string 12th fret. Okay, so that was 10, 12 on the low E string. Same thing on the A string. Same thing on the D string. All right, then on the G string, we're going to play nine to 12. All right, then we're going to the B string, we're gonna play 10, 13. And then on the high E string, we're going to once again play 10, 12. We put all that together and we have. All right, now we need to learn the major variety. All we need to do is take that exact pattern, that finger pattern or that box, whatever you want to call it, and move it down one minor third or flat third, okay, to the seventh fret. Okay, and we're going to be doing that for each of these different positions. So basically, I look at that first box that I had, my index finger position, where I start it from on the low E string, bring that down, one, two, three frets. Now here I am on the seventh fret of the low E string, and if I play that exact same finger pattern, it's going to be the A major pentatonic scale. seventh fret of the D string. Okay, very good everybody. Now we're moving on to our second pentatonic box. We're going to be in the minor A position and then going into the major C position. Okay, so minor A position is gonna look and sound like this. Getting started here on the 12th fret, low E string. of the A string. Okay, so very simple. We're going 12 to 15 on the low E, 12 to 15 on the A, 12 to 14 on the D, 12 to 14 on the G. Okay, we're moving up a fret now. We're going to be playing 13 to 15 on the B string, and then we're going to have the high E string once again, 12 to 15. Put all that together and we have. popular position of our minor pentatonic scale. Okay, now we're going to take that down again. One, two, three frets. We're on the ninth fret of the low E string. This is going to be the major C position. So as I said before, it's going to be the exact same finger positions. Will be there, 12th fret 
the A string, and then also on the B string we have the uh, tenth fret. Okay, so there's usually two positions, maybe three positions of a root note within these boxes. Okay, so. Now we have the uh, A position of the A minor pentatonic scale right here, outlining that barred position of the A minor chord. Tons of great licks in that position. And we also have the major C position. Okay, where your BB's box resides. Okay, very good everyone. Now we're jumping into our third box. We're gonna have our minor G position and also our major A position. Now I want you to know that you can follow along using this PDF study guide at patreon.com slash lessons. Print it out, I've got diagrams for each of these different scale patterns. Okay, so your minor G position is gonna look and sound like this. here on the low E string 5th fret, you can also find it here on the G string 2nd fret, and also again here on the high E string 5th fret. Okay, so very simple, we had 3-5 on the low E, 3-5 on the A, 2-5 on the D, 2-5 on the G, and we have 3-5 on the B, and then we have 3-5 on the high E string. Put all that together and we have. Okay, now we need to take that exact same finger pattern, that exact box, and turn it major. Ordinarily, we could just take that index finger's position and go down one, two, three frets, but we've run out of fretboard. So in order to find the a position of the major pentatonic scale, we're going to take our A chord up an octave to the 12th fret position and play that exact same pattern. Okay, so. Okay, finding my root notes here, I've got the uh, A string 12th fret, that's an A and then finding the octave down two strings and up two frets. Okay, so there you have the A minor pentatonic scale in its G position. Tons of great licks there as well. Okay, and we can make that box major just by taking it and putting it in the 12th fret position for A major pentatonic scale. Okay, now we're gonna move on to box number four. Okay, very good everyone. We have two more positions to learn and up next is everybody's bread and butter. It's the minor E position and also the major G position. So this is the most commonly used position of our pentatonics. Okay, so outlining the A minor chord in E position, or you can look at this as major as well, okay? Because you can play minor scales over top of major keys. Okay, this position looks and sounds like this. Most of you already know it. Right, so that is low E string, five, then going up to eight. The A string, five, seven. The D string, five, seven. The G string, five, seven. The B string, five, eight. And the high E string, five, eight. Okay, and of course we have our root notes, A, right here on the fifth fret, low E string. Seventh fret of the D string. And then again here, fifth fret of the high E string. Okay, now we're going to repeat that same process. Start from your index finger's position on the low E string, and then go down one, two, three frets. Now we're on the second fret, low E string. You play that exact same box. And that is going to be the A major pentatonic scale. Now you might also look at this and say, well, isn't that just the F sharp minor pentatonic scale? Well, that's true because A and F sharp are relative. So A major is relative to F sharp minor. Okay, so we have the minor pentatonic and we also have the major pentatonic. It will sound much more major if we start from the A note. 
Okay. Lots of great little country lines that can be found within that scale. All right, and then of course in our minor position. Tons of great bluesy lines in that minor position. Okay, excellent work everybody. Thanks so much for sticking it out with me. We're ready to learn our fifth and final box. The minor D position, which is identical to the major E position. The minor D position is gonna look and sound like this. Find in my root note there on the uh, 10th fret of the B string, and then of course here on the seventh fret of the D string. Okay, very simple. Middle finger leads the way. We have eight, 10 on the low E string. To the A string, we have seven to 10. The D string, seven to 10. The G string, seven to nine. And the B string, eight to 10. And then the high E string, eight to 10. Okay, now one thing I wanna point out is that many guitar players will refer to this little zone as being the upper extension of their minor pentatonic scale in the E position, okay? And um, when in actuality, it's, it's just a small part of a greater position of the minor pentatonic scale. Okay, so your upper extension is just a part of the minor D position. Shown here in the key of A minor. Okay, now we're gonna take that exact same box and move it to the fifth fret low E string, and that's going to turn it major. Now we have the major E position. Okay, very, very simple, and that one's gonna look uh, familiar to many of you because it's just five notes of the most common position of that major scale. Okay, there you have it everybody. We have five pentatonic boxes for major and minor soloing. I hope you found this useful and informative. I know it's a lot to wrap your head around, so be sure to practice this piecemeal. Uh, don't try to over diversify your practice. Learn and master each of these positions independently, and eventually you'll be able to... Okay, mix them together in various ways for major and also for minor. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking in. Big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. You're making all these lessons possible. Thanks, you guys. I got many more coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.